An important skill to have in Helldivers is being able to focus on the correct target, the base threat to you and the other Helldivers on your team's survival. You know, this is, this might just be, you know, picking the right enemy between two, might be picking the right enemy out of a bunch of them. But the main point is you're going to be wanting to focus on the biggest threat so you can continue to spread that sweet democracy across the galaxy. So I thought we'd play a little game on here, just going over some of the enemies and just picking what I consider to be the biggest target out of any of them. All right, so here we have on the screen, we have our scavenger and then we have a bio spitter. Okay, so pretty clear choice on this. The scavengers are pretty small. They're pretty much the basic guys, and they're they're everywhere, but they're pretty easy to take out. And then we have the bio spitters. Bio spitters, they're just a little bit just just a little bit more annoying, I would say. When they attack, they have this little bit of slowing effect, and they're just the little brother of the bio spewers. Yeah, I'm gonna pick the bio spitters as the main objective, or you know, the bigger target in between these two, given the choice. All right. And and so next we have the uh, bio spitter against the pouncer also sometimes called the hopper on um, this one is just going to kind of hop at you across the map or whatnot i've had these guys hop like a really long distance at me ultimately mobility is going to be one of the deciding factors here while the bio spitter has a ranged attack which is pretty okay the pouncer being able to launch from across the field to get to you that's uh that's some pretty good mobility and ultimately being able to keep the bugs at bay is the main objective so i'm going to go with the pouncer on this one all right so next we have the pouncer versus the warrior all right the warrior is pretty much your basic run of the mills just okay fighter they can deal a lot of damage if they get close to you granted they're pretty pretty slow and they're pretty big targets so you can usually hit them pretty well what i consider them to be a bigger target than the pouncer yeah, absolutely. They can do a lot more damage, and while mobility is fantastic on the Pouncer, also sometimes called the Hopper, I'm going to go with the Warrior on this one. They're, they're definitely a little bit bigger of a threat. All right, so now we're getting to the Warrior versus the Hive Guard. Okay, so the Hive Guard, if you didn't know, has got this nice armor on the front, which makes him kind of a pain in the butt to deal with. You can shred through them pretty easily with most all the support weapons, if not all of them. If you get behind him, then it's pretty much game over for him because he's just as squishy as the warrior. Would I consider them to be a little bit more of a threat? Yeah, I would probably um, kill the Hive Guard um, faster than the warrior. But also, you got to keep in mind that the Hive Guard, when he's moving to towards you, if they're all sort of armored up, they'll be moving up quite a bit slower. And you can usually back up and then get them in like the the leg parts or like the bottom jaw. But I consider them a bit more of a target than the warrior over here. So next we have the nursing spewer, similar to the bio spewer, but it doesn't have armor. It's like the mom bio spewer, uh, and it just has the kids, I guess. Anyways, that against the hive guard. Uh, while the hive guard is pretty, uh, pretty frustrating to deal with, the bio spewer, uh, the nursing spewer, goodness, the nursing spear's got that ranged attack, and then also if you kill them right next to you and burst this sack, it's going to do a bit of damage to you. So yeah, the nursing spear is definitely um, going to be higher up on the list. All right, next we have the bio spear versus the nursing spear. You know, kind of comparing apples to apples right here, right? But no, it's uh, definitely going to be the bio spear, um, specifically because they got the armor, and then they also have that mortar attack that you can experience later on and it's a big pain in the butt um the bow spewer versus the brood commander the brood commander is pretty aggressive they come at you pretty fast actually i do hate the bio spewer but the brood commander uh that's that's going to be the main target here so uh it's going to be the brood commander up against the shrieker next the shrieker um man they are they're just awful. You can pretty easily avoid them, but they usually come at you in large numbers and it can be pretty difficult to fight them versus the Brute Commander. The Brute Commander, you can have some difficulty with, especially because if you blow off their head, they'll still try and fight you for a bit. But the Shriekers are just, they are a huge pain in my backside. So we're going to go with them. All right, so we have the Shriekers um versus the stalkers uh the stalkers actually let's get a little bigger on that one that guy's huge uh this guy he can turn invisible and he's really just he he's awful i hate this guy 
This guy sucks. You kill him as soon as you see him, honestly. Um, yeah, he's definitely going to be outweighing the Shrieker. Uh, because he can turn invisible and also he does a ton of damage so definitely hit this guy first next we have the stalker versus the charger as far as a bigger target goes definitely the charger they are they are ridiculous definitely hit these guys all right so now we come down to pretty much the final two we have the bile titan versus the charger while the charger is a huge pain the bile spewer's got a lot of range attack and pretty much can send you flying um, from a greater distance away from where they are. They're awful. Pretty much Apex Predator, worst guy I've ever met. Very pixelated in this picture, of, apparently. And then also, yeah, definitely hit this guy first. So that pretty much, yeah, pretty much the Bio Titan. Um, yeah, he's pretty much the worst guy there is. Yeah, he's going to be pretty much public enemy number one. Definitely hit that guy. Now, I bet you're kind of wondering, where is the hunter in all of this? Well, good question. Um, he's actually, he's always been there. He's always been there on every single one of these. He's been there. He's always been off to the side, waiting, ready to pounce, shifting from side to side. Jumping out of nowhere for no gosh dang reason. Hits you with the old one-two combo. Look at this guy. He's evil. Kill him. Pretty much you can get away from all these guys. But this guy? Him and his buddies? Oh my gosh, I hate that guy. That guy's the flipping worst. Man, I'm, I'm fixing to take him out versus almost anything. That's right. Anything. This guy is awful. Definitely, definitely, definitely kill this guy first. This guy is the worst thing that has ever happened to Helldivers. Worst. The absolute worst. Now that we know the top enemy for the Terminids, let's go ahead and look at the Tomtons. This time, let's go ahead and start from the middle of it, just to sort of speed things up. And, you know, you can kind of figure out the, the bottom guys, right? So let's just start out with the top guys, right? So we have the tank and the Hulk, both devastating ground units. Um, actually, with the Hulk, there's this little known um, weakness on these guys. And so what you'll want to do to uh, sort of exploit this weakness is you're going to actually get back up into your shuttle, um, fly over to the terminated area, and then you're going to go ahead and kill a lot more of those hunters. Uh, because these guys are the real target. Uh, these guys hate Super Earth, and we should definitely hurt them. Now, clearly this has all been for fun, and it's important to not take everything too seriously. But really, I, I do hate these guys, and definitely watch out for them on the battleground.